What's up guys? Happy Tuesday, Paul. The Philly Flipper back here with another video. About to go to the warehouse. We got the sign up guys. We wear our dog. <laughs> so now there's no excuses. Uh, <laughs> people gotta know we got a scary dog out here. Remember how yesterday I was like, I'm gonna have all this time tomorrow. I can do anything I want at the warehouse. I, I can work as much as I want. They're gonna have all this time. I have nothing else to do. Well, stuff happened. <laughs> um, one of my guys this morning quit on me in the middle of a job. And not even in the middle of a job, like in the first 10% of a job. I don't wanna get into it. It's just like the one the probably the worst things you can do as a human being is quit on somebody without finishing the task. Uh, it's, uh, it's, I don't, I don't want to talk about it too much. It's really frustrating. So I spent the whole day um, today working for Better Call Paul. It's almost 6 p.m. and I just got to the warehouse. Um, so that's fun. And to add to that is this guy was supposed to work for me all week. So now I have to scramble to find either laborers or I have to personally, physically, do all the work that he was supposed to do which means i'm not gonna have almost any time to do anything in here so that's also very frustrating uh, but like the one thing i'm trying to like maybe uh, portray through all of this is that i don't like to spend um my time on negative things that i can't control right i couldn't control him quitting i don't know what's going through his head i don't know what kind of issues he was dealing with um but that's not in my control. What I can control now is to either uh, start looking for somebody else to fill his spot or do the work myself. That's what I can control. So I'm gonna focus my energy on that instead of thinking about how much I hate the situation and hate what he did to me. So um, I'm here. I'm here, it's almost 6 p.m. The post office closes in an hour. There is zero chance I'm getting all these orders out today so what i'm gonna do is just pack them all tonight and have the guy come tomorrow and pick them up uh, so i'm gonna might be a little late on some shipping handling time but that's okay and then i'm gonna go to my, in my store and also increase my handling time from one day to three days just to be safe with this week because i don't know if i can find any help or anything like that so i might be so i might be spending a lot of my focus and attention on better car paul instead of here which I guess snowball effects into this mess that is here. Might be here for a while because I can't really uh, take care of it. So that sucks um, as well. But um, I did meet up this morning. I had to meet up this morning for that conference table that used to be up there. So I did sell that. And then like I said, I went to work at 10 a.m. and just came back now. So it was like an eight hour work day that i did not anticipate having so now i'm here so i'm gonna pull orders first and i'm gonna uh pack those up and then we'll see what kind of mood i'm in but i'll try to list at least a couple of things um tonight as, as well but let me uh grab what's sold. so i actually had a pretty good day uh yesterday on the resale world a lot of clothes sold which I guess kind of makes up for it because over the weekend I didn't sell as much apparel as I usually sell, but today I had a lot of apparel sales. So um, most of the stuff I'm gonna be grabbing is gonna be in the other room, but let me grab the smaller stuff that sold here. First thing that sold is something I just listed this weekend, and it is a Camaro, which is this one right here. It is a Welly Chevy Camaro, 1968. Um, it had some scuff marks right here. The hurt its value, a little scuff mark right here, which I disclosed on the post. I had a listed for $25. Somebody sent me an offer for 20 saying, hey, I would give you 25, but there's too many scuff marks, which I agree with him on. So I accepted 20. Very happy to get 20 bucks for this. Um, that card came from the recent Christmas unit um, that I opened live on uh, YouTube. From the same unit came this watch right here. This is that Stour, really cool looking Stour watch from that storage unit. Um, needs a battery. 
somebody actually bought this watch from Russia and they paid me $75 plus $25 shipping to ship it to, to Russia. So that's an awesome sale. So it's like a hundred bucks just right here from that Christmas unit. <laughs> it's pretty cool to see like you get one third of your money back just in uh, two sales from uh, from a storage unit. That clown is still here. Um, I sold some ice skates. There should be CCM. Pretty sure it's these guys. It says why you look at the listing. <laughs> it's not these. The the ones that I sold have 60 on the back. These have CCM and the Maple Leaf flag on the back. Um, these are the ones I sold right here. These are the ones I sold. Um, those ice skates I got from a yard sale. Uh, same yard sale. It was those. Um, it was the ones I just showed you. And there was some white ones right here. Look like this. These were part of it too. And I got all of them. And I paid $10 for um, all three pairs. Which is awesome. I've been up for like two, two and a half months now. That's the first pair that sold, but I got fifty-two dollars for for that one. So I already am in the profit by a long by a long shot. I'm already like probably I'm already like a four x my money just on one sale. So whenever those sell, it's gonna be already pure profit on top. So very happy with that purchase. And those sold on uh, Mercari. Now I'm in the other uh, warehouse space because everything else. It sold was clothes or shoes. So from shoes, I sold a pair of Mad Love women's size six slippers, like slip-ons, I guess, not slippers, loafers, these guys right here. Uh, Mad Love, they sold on Macari for uh, $15. Also on Macari, I sold a pair of snow boots. Uh, they were chill razors. These sold for $17. These guys right here. I don't remember where I got them from. These pairs of shoes were listed uh, last Monday when I listed all those pairs of shoes in one day. I listed uh, both of these during that Monday. So it's cool to see them both sale. Sale, both sell. Had. So I got 15 for these, I got 17 for those. Okay, so that's it for Mercari sales and that's it for shoe sales. Everything else that I sold was um, clothes. So I sold two things on Poshmark. First thing I sold is a loft uh, turtleneck sweater. It's been in a loft bin. This bin is stuffed with stuff. <laughs> um, I believe this is it's right here. It's pretty sure it's this sweater. I don't know how many loft knitted turtlenecks I have. It's supposed to be a petite medium. Or a medium PT, and if you can tell, but it is. So that sweater sold on Poshmark. I got seventeen dollars for that. And then I sold a kid's uh, Air Jordan T-shirt, size medium, in red. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan down here. Red T-shirt right here. Big logo in the front shirt right here um, pretty cool kids t-shirt this sold for $15 on Poshmark and then the last three sales are on eBay I sold a Nike live strong men's t-shirt for 16 bucks I've had this t-shirt forever this t-shirt right here Live strong, so like, like, like the like active uh, material, uh, men's medium. This came out of the Burberry unit. And for those who just recently subscribed to me and have no clue what the Burberry unit is, <laughs> let me tell you guys a story. Um, when I started buying storage units, which was August of 2019, the second one I ever bought was called the Burberry unit. I spent $10 on that one. And that unit I had probably like two to three bins this full of men's clothes and the clothes was brands like Burberry, um, Ralph Lauren, uh, Armani, like those 
pretty decent sized brands. And then in it was probably like four or five pairs of Jordan shoes, uh, brand new Burberry shoes, um, Salvatore Farigamo, I think that's the brand. Those shoes, insane amount of money. Um, I probably had over a thousand, over probably $2,000 worth of inventory from that $10 purchase. And that's how I fell in love with storage units. So like other units, if I sell like a piece of clothing from, I kind of forget about it where it came from, but not the Burberry unit. That thing has like a close place to my heart. <laughs> so every time I sell something from that unit, it makes me uh, smile. So 16 bucks, <laughs> it took, <laughs> what when I listed? I probably listed like October of 2019. So it took a year, like six months, it took like a year and four months to sell, but it sold. I sold a Tabitha, wear large woman's like nightgown top and this isn't like an example of just like anything selling <laughs> on ebay because why the heck would somebody ever buy this i used nightgown top but yep this right here i hate silk so i hate feeling it <laughs> but uh that thing sold uh for 13 bucks on ebay and then last but not least i sold the vintage men's was it large or extra large sweater it is xl vintage men's extra large showboat sweater this is the favorite part of every video where you guys get to see me going through all the items look it's chaps it doesn't have its own bin <laughs> oh man i'm really good at uh procrastinating guys by the way if you can't tell, I think it's this one. It fits the style. What I'm looking for. Yep. Right here. Showboat. The Mardi Gras Casino. There's a tag. The tag says Vantage. <laughs> but it's vintage. So it's a vintage Vantage um, sweater. Um, a lot of people will probably like, if you see this like at a, a Goodwill or something, you're probably just gonna walk past it because you don't maybe don't see anything worth. But a lot of vintage stuff like this, actually good money. Like there's like absolutely nothing on the back. It's clear back. All it just has is just showboat casino. That's all. But this sweater right here sold for $30. That sweater I bought at Goodwill on a Goodwill Sunday for a dollar. It took about six to eight months to sell but it sold a dollar into 30 it's pretty hard to complain about so yeah that's all that sold very good day i just got an offer on something on ebay so we'll see if they will if i uh, will accept it and they will pay actually let me do this on camera it's for these figurines right here um so i have listed for 40 plus shipping somebody sent me an offer this morning for 30 plus shipping i counted with 35 and he just countered with 28 look at him playing hard to get so um yeah i'm gonna decline that decline offer and um you have to counter back with between 30 and 35 let me just think about it so that will not get shipped today <laughs> let me pack this stuff up and get it i almost out the door when i when i get out the door we're getting it by the door. <laughs> then tomorrow's gonna go out the door. But yeah, let me pack these guys up. <laughs> What's up guys? Happy, what day is it? <laughs> I think it's Wednesday. Yeah, happy Wednesday, February 10th. It is close to 5 p.m. I am, I'm just getting here. Yay, <laughs> another busy day in uh, the Better Call Paul world. Uh, good news though is I got a lot of, um, applications for the open position that i have now in my moving business and we have one guy doing his work interview um tomorrow so this is pretty much how i guess i'll give you guys a little behind the scenes on how i do things around here people come in and interview and i like their aura i like their vibe what i do is i give them a work interview so pretty much i send them in the field i send them with one of my guys and uh they work with them for the day I pay him for that day, and then I get the report from my guy to see if that guy is good enough. So um, we'll do it tomorrow. So tomorrow, 
<laughs> to knock on some wood. Uh, I should be free and working here after like 12, 1 p.m. I have errands and stuff to run until 1 p.m. But after that, I should be free to fully work in here and it needs it. Um, but yeah, yesterday I did not list anything myself. I just posted a bunch of drafts, Vita did. Vita, thank you for being a good employee and getting your drafts in. It helped me with my goal yesterday. I listed 10 posts yesterday for $302 from her. So that was very helpful. Uh, today it's 5 p.m. It's not like 8 p.m. or whatever when I got here yesterday. So I have a little more time. So I'm probably gonna post a couple things uh, from um, those bins. I think I'm gonna post that shadow box that's in there, those um, Mickey Mouse uh, needlework things. These guys right here. It's time to get these guys posted. Um, yeah, a couple of things here and there. I'll, I'll probably do some postings. Plus, Vita has a ton of drafts for me to post as well. So I'll probably do that. Um, maybe I'll do some cleanup in here. I'm not really in the mood to do like any physical labor work, like cleaning and trash runs when I've been pretty much doing that all day for Better Call Paul. But um, I had a delivery today. This uh, quarter was my first time I could use my new eBay discount code with my anchor shipping, so I had a lot more stuff I could get. Ooh, so as you see here, my shelves are now super stocked with eBay bubble mailers. I got a nice stack of eBay poly mailers here. Then I had, I got some tape. So you got some tape here. I got some tape here. <laughs> and I got some tape here. So I should be good for tape for, for quite a bit. So what I'm doing now, this is my first time actually ever buying eBay tapes. I don't know if it's gonna be good or not, but uh, I have a tape gun just for eBay tape. And then I have a tape gun for Poshmark and Mercari tape, which is just plain old tape. <laughs> so that way I don't make the mistake and somebody buys something from me on Poshmark and I give them eBay tape. <laughs> I don't wanna do that. So um, that came in, that's cool. I got that stuff open, a lot of cool stuff. Um, this pretty much should last me until the next quarter. So I'm very happy with that. I am very hungry. <laughs> I don't know why I'm giving you guys my freaking, I don't know why I'm, telling, why I'm sharing all this information with you, but I'm starving. So I'm probably gonna go get some food. And I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna pack um, what sold yesterday. There's something Masha's on her way here with some coffee for me, but I really want food. So I'm probably gonna go get some food and uh, probably meet her here. Then when she gets here, if I hang out for a little bit, and then I'll start packing on what sold yesterday. Chipotle, chip. The way you said Chipotle, that you were saying triple A. Triple A is here. <laughs> like triple, like, like my like roadside assistance. <laughs> Jake from State Farm. Jake from State Farm. Oh man, yes. Say hello to the millions. I'm a different master today, can you tell? Are you ready for your lines? Hi. There you go. Nailed it. Okay, so uh, Mosh just left. Uh, we had an awesome um, night. Grabbed some dinner together. Went to the diner. <laughs> I don't know why it sounds like I'm from the South. We went to the diner. But no, we went to the diner down the street. Had some nice dinner. It's pretty cool. Um, good times. Uh, now it's time to pull orders. My hair is crazy, but I'm getting a haircut tomorrow. So this will be the last video in a while where I look homeless. I should look like a decent human being tomorrow. Um, but yeah, let me get some orders pulled. Uh, also, um, uh, my new video from, from Monday is up and I, I get this uh, quite a bit on uh, actually on Instagram and YouTube about um, how I'm pulling orders and everything. Everything right now is being taken from my phone, right? So. It's all being shot on my iPhone. That's why when I get a phone call, my video gets interrupted. And obviously it's not ideal. I got the iPhone 12, but actually it was a downgrade for me kind of because my iPhone 11 was a pro, which means I had two or three cameras. So I could actually zoom out a lot farther with the iPhone 11 that I can do with the 12. So that's why not everything is in range. I am working on getting a GoPro and I'm gonna record from a GoPro. 
the only problem is with that is that um i do everything on my phone i don't think people know this um i shoot on my phone i edit on my phone i use the imovie app on my phone and i upload from my phone to youtube obviously that's not ideal that's the way to go so like the only video editing software i know how to use is um imovie right that's what it's called yeah so it's there those of you guys who are who do youtube and do videos what pc video editing program do you guys use and is it good and how much does it cost because uh if and when i get a gopro most likely when not if um i get a gopro i don't know how to get that gopro footage to come to my phone so it's gonna, it's gonna have to go to my pc which means i need to get an editing software and edit on the pc and then upload it to youtube that way so um yeah if you guys um use a pc to edit your videos what program would you recommend that i get because I'm probably gonna get the GoPro in the next couple weeks. Definitely wanna get it before yard sales season because I wanna take it with me to yard sales. And also, it'll be probably a lot easier for me to take it to storage units and hauling the phone around. It'll be a lot easier for me to record and post. So that's coming in the future, for sure. Coming pretty soon. But yeah, enough with um, the GoPros. Let's talk about what's sold. I had seven sales on eBay. I had one sale on Poshmark. First thing I sold on eBay is this Universal Thread uh, faux leather tote. Universal Thread is um, a Target brand or a Target brand. Uh, so um, not the most ideal brand for a bag, but I still got decent money for it. I got 22 bucks for it. So I'm very happy to get that. Another thing that's sold over here is a Boy Meets World season five DVD. It's the last one I have right here. Um, I've had like season one, I had season three, and season four, season five. Uh, I was missing one or two. So I couldn't really sell them as a, a full set, but I've been selling them individually by seasons and I've been having pretty relative, relatively good success with them. That one sold for uh, $8. I found them all in uh, storage units. Uh, next I sold a Winter Circle uh, Daytona 500 Dale Earnhardt um, car. This right here, this thing. It's like a like a diecast model thing. This came out of the Christmas unit that I got a couple weeks ago. The one that I opened live on YouTube. That's one of the uh, cars that I listed over the weekend. And that thing sold, and I got $15 for it. The buyer note just says, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right, it looks like the next thing I sold, so it was sold to a drop shipper, because it says, please don't include pricing when you ship this out. Do not include any eBay products such as tape, <laughs> when, tape or boxes when you ship this out. Hmm, I wonder what, what happened there. Yeah, usually dropshippers give you insane amount of orders when they um, want to buy something from you. So what I sold was an APC, APC Smart UPS 750. Okay, right here. It's like one of those like power cell kind of like generators. Kind of similar to the thing I sold for $500, which was a Duracell brand. This was found in the same storage unit. And I got $100 plus shipping on this. And the guy paid me $50 in shipping. There is no way it's going to cost me that much to ship. <laughs> but um, yeah, sold this guy right here. I'm really confused why I was 50 bucks in shipping. That's insane. $50 and 15 cents in shipping. There's no way it's going to cost me that much to ship. But yeah, I uh, sold that as well. I sold these guys right here. These Hamco denim figurines. Denim days by Hamco. All of these right here. And then all of those inside that box. Sold all of them. Those are the ones I mentioned about yesterday where they sent me an offer. I just declined it. I said I declined it. They sent me back another offer for $30, $34 plus shipping. I took it. So um, those got to go out. It's going to take me quite a bit actually to pack and ship because I've got to wrap every single one individually. But um, I got these in a free pick. So $0 into $34 is pretty good. 
probably gonna take me like 10 to 20 minutes to pack and ship. So yeah, I'm happy to make like $34 in like 10 to 20 minutes. I'm not, I'm not complaining about that. But um, yeah, that's all four items on that side. Let me grab the clothes that sold. I sold a pair of Disney scrubs. These got listed last week, so I just put these away. These are like Disney Winnie the Pooh uh, scrubs. I find scrubs in storage units quite a bit, actually. Uh, in the beginning, I used to list all the scrubs I found, like just generic blue color scrubs, and those take forever to sell. So I stopped doing that. So now I only list scrubs that have some kind of like print or design on them, like those have in the poo. I have ones like with hearts and cacti and other like cute figurines. Those I list and those actually sell. So that sold in like a week and a half and it sold for $15. And I sold two things from this woman's large bin. That was to be the most like oversaturated bin of clothes that I have. So good luck to me <laughs> in finding them. Jean-Pierre looks a lot more blue in the picture. Hopefully that's not a problem. This looks way, this looks more like Telos in real life. And the pictures actually, you know, it looks kind of Telos too. Never mind. Okay. So that's that. Now looking for a Juicy Couture green tank. Right here. Juicy Couture green tank top. This sold on Poshmark for 12. This thing sold on eBay for 15. So yep, uh, these three sold, these three clothes items sold today. Not bad, I'm happy anytime clothes sells. Very happy to be moving it. So that is all the sales, seven sales on eBay, one sale on Poshmark. Like I said before, I'm happy with every sale that I do get. Uh, so let me pack them up, pack them up pack them out, pack them up, right? <laughs> and get them by the door, <laughs> not out the door. Leave them out the door uh, tomorrow. And after I pack them up, I'm gonna spend the rest of the day uh, listing, trying to get some of this listing done. So Friday, I have a pretty slow day and I better call Paul. So I'm gonna have two of my guys, uh, instead of working for a move, I have them come here and I'll pay them to help me clean out my warehouse a little bit. Do some trash runs, do some Goodwill runs. Do some organizing cleaning here so that i'll be ready to buy a storage unit next week but that's friday today is wednesday so let me uh, pack these orders and then start listing <laughs> 